at lesson number 7, Factoring Difference of Two Squares. When we multiply the sum and difference of the same two terms, we note that the product is the difference of two squares. Now, in this example, the two terms are x and 5. So, this is the sum of the two terms, and this is the difference of the two terms. Now, multiplying the two, the result is x squared minus 5 squared, which is a difference of two squares. So, we have the first square and the second square. So, difference of two squares. Now, simplifying this, we have x squared minus 25. Therefore, x squared minus 25 is a difference of two squares. So, if we multiply x plus 5 times x minus 5, the result is x squared minus 25. And if we factor this, x squared minus 25, the result is x plus 5 times x minus 5. So, we have x and x, x squared, 5 and 5, 25, and then plus and minus. So, that's the factor or factored form of x squared minus 25. Now, let's have the general form of factoring difference of two squares. So, just follow this format. We have a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. All you need to do is to find the value of a and to find the value of b. Now, let's have this example. Factor each polynomial. Number 1, x squared minus 64. The first task is to find the value of a and b. So, since x squared is x squared, 64 is 8 squared. Therefore, a is x, b is 8. So, you have identified already the values of a and b. Next, plug in a, which is x, b, which is 8. a, which is x, b, which is 8. So, the final answer is x plus 8 times x minus 8. Next, number 2, 25x squared minus 4. So, since 25x squared is 5x squared and 4 is 2 squared, therefore, a is 5x, b is 2. So, you have identified the values of a and b. Next, plug in a, 5x, b, 2. a, 5x, and then b, 2. And then you have the plus and minus. That's it. 5x plus 2 times 5x minus 2. Next, number 3. We have 9x squared minus 49y squared. So, since 9x squared is 3x squared, and 49y squared is 7y squared, so you have a, which is 3x, and b, which is 7y. So we have 3x plus 7y, that's a plus b, and then 3x minus 7y, that's a minus b. So 9x squared minus 49y squared is 3x plus 7y times 3x minus 7y. So that's the factored form. Next, number 4, we have 36x raised to 4 minus 1. So, since 36x raised to 4 is 6x squared, squared, and then 1 is just 1 squared. So, you have 6x squared, 6x squared, 1, 1. And then copy 6x squared, 6x squared, and then 1, and then you input plus and minus. So, 36x raised to 4 minus 1 is 6x squared plus 1 times 6x squared minus 1. Next, we have 100x raised to 4 minus 121y raised to 6. Now, we need to identify if this is a difference of two squares. Now, since 100 is a perfect square, x raised to 4 is a perfect square also. 121 is a perfect square, y raised to 6 is a perfect square also. So, we have 100x raised to 4 is 10x squared, squared. 121y raised to 6 is 11, that's 11 because 11 times 11 is 121. 
So, y raised to 3 squared. y raised to 3 times y raised to 3 is y raised to 6. So, that's why it's 11y cubed. Now, you have a and b already. So, input 10x squared and 11y cubed. Copy 10x squared and 11y cubed and place plus and minus. So, the final answer is x, I mean 10x squared plus 11y cubed times 10x squared minus 11y cubed. Now, let's have more examples. Factor each polynomial completely. Number 1, 8x squared minus 2y squared. Now, in this case, this is not yet a difference of two squares because you cannot find a whole number wherein if you multiply that, the result is 8. So first, we need to do the common monomial factor. Since 8 and 2 have a common monomial factor of 2, so we extract 2 from the expression. So we have the remaining factor is 4x squared minus y squared. Again, 8x squared minus 2y squared is 2. Extracting the 2, the remaining factor is 4x squared minus y squared. Now, this one is a difference of 2 squares already. 4x squared is 2x squared. y is y squared. Now, this is a and this is b. Plug in 2x and then y. So, we have 2x plus y and then 2x minus y and then the common monomial factor 2. So, the final answer is 2 times 2x plus y times 2x minus y. Next, number 2, 25ax squared minus 9a. Now, in this case, a is the common monomial factor. So, we extract a. The remaining factor is 25x squared minus 9, which is a difference of 2 squares. So, 25x squared is 5x squared. 9 is 3 squared. So, you have A and B. So, you have 5x, 5x, 3, and then 3. So, the final answer is A times 5x plus 3 times 5x minus 3. So, this is a combination of common monomial factor and factoring difference of two squares. Next number three, we have 48x cubed y minus 75xy. Now, in this case, let's take a look at 48 and 75 first. So, 48 and 75 have a common monomial factor of 3. x cubed and x Take note, the lowest exponent is 1, so that's the common monomial factor. y and y, so it's just y. So the common monomial factor of this expression is 3xy. Extracting this, you have 48x cubed y divided by 3xy is 16x squared. 75xy divided by 3xy is 25. Now, this one is already a difference of 2 squares. So, we follow the rule. We have 3xy. 16x squared is 4x squared. 25 is 5 squared. So, we have 3xy. This is A and this is B. So, we have 4x plus 5 times 4x minus 5. So, 3xy, 4x plus 5 times 4x minus 5. That's the factored form of this. Next, number 4. 32ax minus 18ax y raised to 4. Now, as you notice, 32 and 18 have a common factor of 2. And then, we have ax here, and then ax also in the second term. So, that's the common factor also. So, combining that, we have 2ax as the common factor of this polynomial. Now, extracting that, we have 16, that's 
32ax divided by 2ax, 16. 18ax y raised to 4 is 9. Divided by this, 2ax, the common monomial factor, we have 9y raised to 4. That's the remaining factor. Now, since this is a difference of 2 squares, we factor this into first 4 squared. 9y raised to 4 is 3y squared squared. Okay, so 3 times 3 is 9. y squared times y squared is y raised to 4. Now, this is a and 3y squared is b. So we have 4 plus 3y squared and then 4 minus 3y squared. So sum and difference. So finally, the factored form is 2ax times 4 plus 3y squared times 4 minus 3y squared. Last example, 81x raised to 5y squared minus 49xy raised to 4. Now, let's start with 81 and 49. 81 and 49 have no common factor other than 1. So, we don't need to write 1 anymore. Next, we have x raised to 5 and x. So, get the lowest exponent, which is 1. So, the common monomial factor is x. Next, we have y squared and y raised to 4. Lowest exponent is 2. So, y squared is the common monomial factor. Combining that, we have x, y squared. That's the common monomial factor of this expression. Now, extracting that from the expression, we have 81x raised to 5, y squared, divided by x, y squared is 81x raised to 4. 49x, y raised to 4, divided by x, y squared, is 49y squared. Now, in this case, we have already a difference of two squares. How? 81 is 9 times 9. So, we have 9. x raised to 4 is x squared times x squared. So, we have x squared. 49 is 7 times 7. So, this is 7. y squared is y times y. So, this is y. So, we have already the values of a and b. We have a is equal to 9x squared. b is equal to 7y. Finally, we have xy squared a 9x squared and then the value of b 7y so 9x squared plus 7y and then this is plus and this is minus so that's the factored form